Hey, James here, and I promised to make some videos this year, so today I want to talk to you about the OLB strategy, which is going to help you a lot this year. So what does OLB stand for? I'll get to that in just a minute. So the current situation that uh, you may be in is that you're handling stuff like your emails and your email broadcasts and stuff directly, and maybe you're also... Uh, editing and creating your content and then syndicating your content directly, maybe even running Facebook ads. And maybe you're mucking around building your own website and uh, lead pages. And maybe you're handling customer support via your inbox. Now, if you're doing all of these things, then uh, you're very, very direct and you're going to find it hard to scale. These things don't really scale. What I suggest you do is you go the OLB, which stands for one layer back. So now you transfer all these things to somewhere else. So for example, emails and support and uh, looking after customers should be done through a support desk. So that's one layer back from you. You should also be dealing with the team. Your team should be building your website or an outsourced supplier and your team should be sending email broadcasts and your team should be editing and syndicating content. So I deal with them in Slack and in GoToMeeting. So I am one layer back, OLB, one layer back. So now I can focus on the stuff that I really want to do, which is make the occasional video, do the occasional podcast, and then I give it to the team and let them do it. What does this mean? It means I can run my business from a mobile phone. I don't need to have editing software. I don't need to know how to use my CRM. I don't need to know how to build a website because the team's doing all of that stuff. I can outsource the help of a Facebook expert. I don't need to know that either. I need to actually get rid of all of these tasks. I need to be one layer back from the action so that I can focus on the high level stuff. So I hope you have more OLB for your year. If you enjoyed this video, let me know so I might make you a few more.